Can you talk a little bit about how athletes are actually added into the league for athletes in limited? Yeah. So at the beginning, um, it was a f- pretty much a four person process. It was the four player advisory board members, which is me, Vic Hayward, Haley Wagner, and Jade Rhodes. And we created depth charts and, um, pretty much went through every position and wrote down who we thought was the best player in that position all the way down, I think like five, six deep. And so then we each created our own depth charts and then cross compared them and created like a master list of who we wanted in the league. And then it went in like sort of waves of invitation from that point. And at that point, the Olympics was still in the future. So a lot of what we were hearing from Olympic members, whether it be team USA or team Mexico, team Canada, et cetera, was a little bit more people wanted to sort of see how things were going to shake out or where they were in their career at that point. But with the postponing of the Olympics to 2021, um, that opened the door obviously for us to sort of go after those top, top tier athletes. So that's been a fun process. And now the more athletes we get, the more of an open conversation it becomes. Um, we have a biweekly meeting with uh, just the players where we're getting on there and sort of talking through what processes we're going through behind the scenes and sort of being uh, middlemen to upper management and the players and being able to have those conversations, what the next steps are. And it's uh, definitely gotten into what players do we want involved because we have a very wide range of very young people and, and a little bit older generation softball players. So it's been really fun being able to talk through with the group as a whole who we want to go after and, and things like that. Megan Wiggins hopped on our group me yesterday and let us know that us collectively as a group, the, I think it's, I want to say it's 40 athletes that we have signed has over half a million followers collectively, which is really exciting. And we're, um, we made it a goal to try and get to a million when we close out the entire group. So I don't know if that's going to be possible, obviously, but um, that's our goal right now. And mm-hmm. we have a, like I said, a really wide gamut of, of faces and names and, and experience. So it's been a really, really fun process being able to actually go through and, and pick who we want to be representing our league. Nice. Uh, you mentioned having biweekly meetings uh, with all the players in the league. Can you, can you kind of share what conversations you, you as a whole are having in terms of trying to build a kind of a successful thriving league? Yeah. Yeah, We, I mean, we've talked about everything right now. It's, it's, we're obviously not ironing out any problems that we're experiencing in the actual league. Like you would be if this was a league that's been around for 10 years right now, we're at the basics talking about, where we want to be um, on TV, what uniforms we want to wear, what sponsorships we're interested in, what products we want to try out and, and things like that. We've talked about, we're having a kind of like a spring training skills camp uh, the first week when we get to Rosemont. And so we've talked about what skills we want to be measured, how we want to be measured all the different technologies that we are having conversations with to be available and, and sort of ironing out which ones we want involved in our process and, and what data we want collected, whether it be for ourselves or for distribution to the public and, and things like that. So um, we're ironing out a lot of details. There are some people hopping on that aren't as familiar with Athletes Unlimited and, and just the structure of it as someone like me or Vic Hayward, who has been involved in this since October. So we'll talk about those kinds of things. And then, like I said, we talk about what players we want involved in in that process, because ultimately we want our league to be represented by the best of the best. And sometimes like my, my knowledge of players is, a little bit smaller than someone like Megan Wiggins, who's been around a lot longer and and has a little bit more of a vision when it comes to top athletes throughout the years. So it's been 
it's been nice being able to have that area where all of us can come together, whoever can make it can come together and discuss these different points that we're working on behind the scenes with John and Jonathan and Sherry and, and the whole, um, you know, upper management team. And then being able to bring that to the team as a whole and sort of go back and forth and be able to iron things out from what the athletes want. 